Hey guys, Sen here. Today I have returned with a milk jug in one hand and a sparky in the other. In case you haven't heard, there is a new update in the clan capital that just dropped from Monday. And this is our first free weekend that we have to play with the new stuff. And oh boy, is the sparky absolutely amazing. Now it's not the most powerful thing from the update. That is handedly the minor, which is absolutely busted. But the mega sparky is the most fun unit that they have ever released in the clan capital and has single-handedly brought me back to this game. This unit is so much fun to try to make work. It does a big boom after waiting four seconds. It's a big old idiot. It sounds like a meme, the big trash can on wheels. But let me tell you, this thing is not a meme and I am going to be two-shotting a couple of capital peaks in this video and you will see just how much damage this thing can do when it is used correctly. And now here we go against a completely maxed Capital Peak. Now before the update, even with Graveyard, this would have been impossible to two-shot. But now with Sparky, it might just be possible. A 13370 Capital Gold Capital Peak is the new max with the increased gold on the Dragon Posts. And the thing with Sparky is you can actually map out everything the Sparky is going to get, her pathing, as well as everything she's going to hit. So starting off, we're going to try to get the funnel set over here on the right side and send in the Sparky towards this cannon. She'll splash down these three defenses, then work her way up to this rapid rocket, splash down this cannon, and then go towards this spear thrower, splash down these four defenses. She won't actually take out the wizard tower over here, but that will be useful for later, where we break her into this compartment over here, hit this cannon, splash down these two defenses. Then with the wizard tower at one HP, we're gonna use the Sparky to rage chain this inferno tower. And then she'll also hit this air bombs and finish off the Inferno Tower from there. And just see how far we can get the Sparky. We have to take the Inferno Tower for the uh, Sparky. This is the main defense that kills the Sparky. Everything else the Sparky can do pretty well against as she works her way through. She has a ton of HP. We also hope to get a raged Sparky shot off onto this bomb tower and grab this rocket artillery over here. But that might be a little bit too ambitious. We'll see what we can get off the Sparky. If we can get a huge chunk of the base on the first hit, we should be able to at least get close to two-shotting this on the second one. And this dragon over here, as well as the blast boat, will try to take care of this on the first hit with our remaining troops. But that's the plan, and let's see how it goes. All right, and here we go. We're going to start off by splitting a pack of archers to go up the right side, clear some trash building so we can open up the map so we can deploy our Sparky where we want her to go. A lot of the defenses here are clumped up, which makes the Sparky super good against this base. We're going to be holding our second rage for later onto the base, depending on where the Sparky goes. But the first one is going to be leading up to the cannon and try to rage the Sparky into the Inferno Tower. She does so much damage. You should also know which defenses she one-shots. She can one-shot a maxed out... Uh, cannon, a level 4 Sparky, which is max, will one-shot the level 5 cannon. But uh, the level 3 Sparky won't do that, so max out your Sparky quickly. But you should probably focus on your Miner first if you're not in a clan with maxed out players who have a lot of gold from their forge. So just gonna wait one moment. We'll use a Barb to finish off this hut because that archer went in rage. A ton of bombs are going off on the outside, which is good for me on the second hit. That's why we split the archers so not all of the archers get blown up by bombs at once. So we want this last little hut to be cleared so we can drop in our giant to tank for the sparky on the entry. Just be careful with the giant or actually I, I want a little bit more trash cleared before we send in the sparky because uh, we need to be able to drop down rams immediately up the top side. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit more. The waiting game a minute has passed but I might just fast forward this in the video, we'll see. Now, as the barb is approaching, drop down the giant, drop down the sparky, a zap trap hurts, but the giant is tanking pretty well on the entry. Good value on the giant, another bomb, another zap trap. Oh my, there's a lot of traps over here. And then the Sparky's going in to take another defense over there. Okay, we don't want the Sparky to break through the wall over here. Hold on. Break this wall. Hopefully she redirects. Okay, nice. We want her to take the higher angle like that. And then we will drop down our Rage, leading the Sparky into this compartment. 
some rams now to try to distract. Boom, another shot on the Sparky. Oh my god, this is doing this is going so well for me. More rams to help tank. One more giant to go in. Keep going, keep going, Sparky, keep going. Uh, she actually doesn't chain very well off the blast mode. The blast mode is a very big defense. Get that one chain over there, and we'll be good. Unfortunately, I forgot to save a giant. I don't even know if I could have saved a giant, but oh my, that Sparky did so much damage, and we still have a jump spell. We'll drop it like this. We might actually get this two shot. Holy cow. All right, that first hit was absolutely nuts. 64% of the base. Let's see if we can finish this thing off in one attack. Starting off, we're going to send in a miner up the left side over here to take out this blast bow and work his way into this base over here and also help DPS this Capital Peak eventually. We'll use a Frost Spell to help slow down everything over here, and then another Frost Spell to slow down everything over here. We're gonna send in another Sparky on top of this Inferno Tower and just splash down this Bomb Tower and Crusher. We're gonna drop down a Barb to help finish off the Inferno Tower because it has a little bit too much HP for one Sparky shot, and hopefully the Sparky will go for this Mega Hidden Tesla afterwards and splash down the giant as well as the raid cart which are going to be slowed otherwise i think what might happen is the sparky from the pushback is going to get push herself back into this giant cannon and just splash these defenses which is fine as well we'll have some hogs on the back side to finish things off as well as an inferno dragon to help dps down the capital peak but let's see if we can finish this base off in two attacks this is nuts all right, and we are in. Let's drop down our frost spells first so that we don't forget about those, and then we'll start in on our miner. Okay. <sighs> don't screw this up, Sen. Don't screw this up, Sen. This is... Uh, okay, okay, okay. So drop down the frost spell. Do not miss the capital peak. I will not try to greed for that mortar. Just make sure we slow down the capital peak, which is going to do so much damage to us. Like so... Then drop down the other frost spell like so. Drop down the miner for now because it's going to be slow as it works its way around. Then as it locks onto the blast spell, we'll drop down our giant to tank for the capital peak. Ram tanking the inferno tower. Sparky DPS it down. Barb to finish off the inferno tower afterwards. Okay, boom. Perfect. Okay, like I thought, the Sparky is going to push herself back into the giant cannon. And hopefully she'll go for the... Um, She'll actually go for that, for the Capital Peak afterwards. I was hoping she would go for the Tesla, but that's fine as well. We'll drop down our Inferno Dragon like so, and DPS this thing down as fast as we can. And we'll have a jump for the backside over here. Stop hitting my Sparky, all right? Okay, and then drop down a Hog over here. I take down that spear thrower. Oh my goodness, that Sparky is nuts. Holy cow, okay. Um, splashes down the spear thrower afterwards. Hog is in, trying to finish off the rocket artillery, sneaking in. We have two more hogs. One like so, go for the cannon. Okay. Do we have it? It's, this is this is really close. Wizard Tower, is the Wizard Tower enough to stop me? Go in, go in, take it out, take it out, take it out. It's so close, it's so close, this is so close. Take it out, take it out, take it out. We got it, we got it. Oh my, oh my. Hog, don't run into any traps, don't run into any traps. The bar should have enough time to get through the wall. We're about to two-shot a maxed CP. This is insane. <laughs> oh, oh, the hog's taking out the, taking out the hut. If we run into like a giant bomb that screws me up, I'm going to be depressed for the next few months. I'll probably quit this game again. Please, no, giant bomb. We're about to get it. We're about to get it. Yes. Oh my, I didn't think this was possible, but we actually got the two shot against this maxed capital peak.
Up next, we actually have a friendly challenge that I did over at War Snipers. Thank you to them for inviting me over. They had this layout prepared, which is actually a base layout that Blueprint COC shared about a week ago. And people on my Discord server were trying to figure out ways to two-shot it. They said it was impossible. And so I took it upon myself to make sure that it is in fact possible. And so let's see how we got this done. So starting off, we're using some barbs and some rocket balloons to clear out the trash up the left side of the base, a frost spell. Uh, to cover the district hall to make sure that shoots slower and also cover the air defense so we can sneak in two inferno dragons one on the air defense one on the cannon once the reticle locks onto the barbarian we send in those inferno dragons to sneak their way in we're going to take out those defenses and go after the capital peak now ideally one of the inferno dragons on the bottom goes after the spear thrower and the other inferno dragon doesn't get locked onto the spear get locked onto by the spear thrower on the right but it's fine because we're going to wait for that radical to lock onto the inferno dragon wait a second or two and then drop down our zap and that'll reset the capital peak beam and make it take forever to shoot and it'll actually not get a shot off before it falls and then after the Inferno Dragon finally grabs that Spear Thrower that it skipped, it's going to go down, but now it is time for the Sparky to go in. Sparky is so good against the Capital Peak, and let's see how much damage she can do this time. She's going to go in against the Cannon. She can actually splash the Rapid Rocket, which is one diagonal tile away from a 2x2 two two building. We're going to send in two Barbarians to go up the left side, clear the trash buildings. It'll also pull out the Raid Cart, and so we can kill that thing on the outside. Like I said... Uh, the raid carts and the enemy troops are super annoying for a Sparky to deal with. We have to kill it with our other troops. A giant to go ahead to help distract some of the defenses. As the enemy super dragon gets pulled, it actually locks onto my Sparky, but that is fine because we have our Inferno Dragon locking onto it, and the Sparky has a lot of HP. She still has more than half health and we have some barbs to clear up the left side of the trash buildings so we can actually send in a pack of minions there later but now once the sparky starts walking up we're gonna drop down a giant we drop down the rage spell at the very start of the attack and so we don't have to worry about that now but as the giants start dying we just drop them down one by one and we're just trying to keep our sparky alive as much as possible she'll get one chain off on the tesla and then another chain off on the air defense make sure that she grabs the blast bow afterwards and i actually get kind of lucky that both giants walk in and they both die to that single rage shot and we get a little bit fortunate over here normally my sparky doesn't make it this far but she actually grabs the tesla this time as well as the bomb tower and wizard tower <laughs> she almost grabs a pop against the giant cannon but those minions up the left side are going to finish that thing off because i sent in the sparky to grab the blast bow and all those air defenses those minions have free reign over there and we're going to use a barb up the top side that's just a spare barb that we could have uh, used at any other point in the attack but we had such a clean hit like I said, normally the defense is behind the blast bow. The Sparky won't make it there. You don't need them for the second hit. But now that we got those defenses, we are going to overkill this base on the second hit with miners. Now, another thing that came out with the update, even though Sparky was so good, miners are probably even way more broken. About as broken as the graveyard spell was, but we're going to drop down a frost spell on the right side of the cannon. That will cover the rock artillery as well as the blast bow. That placement is kind of important. And then the other frost will to freeze the inferno tower on the top side and it's time to spam in some miners three ramps to help distract the defenses three miners on the bottom side inferno tower and then three miners up the left side giant cannon to try to take out those defenses on the entry as my miners start to work in we're going to drop down a skeleton barrel up the top left side of the base to go in to distract all those single target defenses with the bomb towers down that were there the sparky did so much work you can send in those barrels a little bit earlier and they can go in and do so much work those point defenses are under Frostbill and they fire so slowly, even the Inferno Tower. And so those skeletons do so much work, even after half of them get blasted by the Rock Artillery. But we have so many miners still up. The miners are so good against the Rock Artilleries because they just burrow underground when the rocket artillery shells are coming and so that's why the miners are so powerful in the clan capital they dodge so much dps as well as that bomb does so much damage we have like six miners left you will have a spare zap on this attack that you can use at any point i decided to use it just to stun the crusher to overkill the space even more but you can use that wherever there's a low defense or maybe an inferno tower is ramping up against your miners but this base is overkilled and this is a plan that can help you two shot this base if you run up against it in your own raid weekend.
And now let's finish off against a maxed out barbarian camp. Everything here is maxed, including the walls. We're gonna start off with a pack of minions down south to finish off the trash buildings and try to take out these giants out of range of any of the air defense. It only has a bunch of cannons and bomb towers down here, but unfortunately I got a little debated. There was a small bomb which kills a couple of my minions, but I split my minions. And so we still have a few to finish off those giants. We'll fast forward because they're gonna be really slow to try to finish off those giants with just like two minions. Another minion gets picked off by the Tesla. But taking a look at the base, you can see everything here is super compact and there is just so much sparky value also there's the district hall back here with all of these key defenses i don't think i need to tell you what's going to happen back there but let's see what we do with this sparky so because everything's super compact i'm guessing he has all his traps on the outside and that three of the teslas are going to be in these gaps over here and we're going to send in our Sparky, for some reason they have a rocket artillery out here that's super exposed. We just have to clear out these trash buildings over here with the Barbarian and then work our way in. I'm gonna try to go in from the left angle to try to avoid this giant and these giant posts over here because they're really annoying to deal with as a Sparky that doesn't shoot back at them. Sparky targets defenses obviously and so they just beat at her and she doesn't fight back. But now we send in the Sparky straight towards the rocket artillery and she's charging up and boom. Boom, everything goes down around it. Another raid shot leading towards the spear thrower over here. And boom, five defenses all in one shot. We're using a jump spell on the top side as well as in barbs to clear the trash buildings up over there because we're sending in our wizard bomb with four wizards, a giant to go in to tank, a, wiz a single wizard to finish off this air bomb so we can clear a path towards the district hall so that not all of them get splashed at once. And let's put this thing at half speed. You might not have seen a wizard bomb in a few months and I apologize, but I hope this makes up two giant cannons, rock artillery, air bombs, rapid rockets. The Sparky finally went down, but she cleared a huge chunk of the left side and the wizards still got a little bit of HP left. They do a nice split, gang up on that giant cannon, finish that thing off and we have taken out every major defense on the space <laughs> and there is just so little left. Now, here's the thing, all right? With the lightning spell buff, we can easily just take out a bunch of spear throwers and a couple of air defenses and there's just gonna be no air defenses left on the base. But that's not the fun way to approach this space. The fun way to do it is to go in with two more Sparkies. Now, I'm gonna say this right now, this is not correct. You should not be using more than one Sparky like ever. 90% of the time, it's not right. But when you're using Sparky, you, you are a memer and a memer is going to do whatever it takes to get the most sparkies on the field as possible. Sending in the first Sparky, going in with the race spell to finish off that first section second sparky up the flank to take out some of those flanking defenses and so now they can work their way around together blasting through buildings one at a time we have a couple zap spells to finish off the rapid rocket and spirit throw over here and so we can clear the backside of any air defenses and quickly finish off this mega hand tesla by swarming it with a pack of minions but you can see we're about to get a ton of bonus gold. Those sparkies are just slowly working their way through. They don't one shot the air bombs, but look, we brought two sparkies and this is what it's for. Two times the DPS, two times the boom, and there's only ground targeting defenses left. Even if the sparkies were to die, we'd still get this base done, but we wanna get that bonus gold because now bonus gold is actually worth quite a bit these days. And just like that, we have taken out a maxed out barb camp with three Sparkies. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's attacks. As you can see, Sparky is not just a meme. Well, she is a meme, she is the trash can on wheels, but she is a powerful trash can on wheels in the right hands with the right planning against the right bases. Especially for the players in the global leaderboard trying to push to the top, you have to learn how to use Sparky efficiently because she is enabling a lot of capital P2 shots that were once thought to be impossible. So up there where every attack counts, Sparky can be a game changer in your raid weekends if you just learn how to use her. But like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and take care.